Welcome back to DraftingTutorials.com. My name is Casey Kepley. Uh, today's video, I'm going to be covering the layout tab in more detail for you. Um, I shot a previous video of, uh, on layouts and kind of what it entails and, and what you use it for. So if you haven't checked out that video, uh, please subscribe to my channel and you can go back and check out that video and many others that I shot um, that I've broken down into different playlists for drafting as a whole. Uh, but getting started here on the layout tab, so I was telling you that um, you basically can set up viewports and you can do this by using the, um, the mView command. And I'll just show you real quick, we'll set up a new layout tab so if you want to ever do that just uh, right click down here where it says new layout and then select new layout so give me a new layout tab we'll get rid of this this is the uh, default preview for it so an in view um, basically like I said it allows you to draw out a window and from here you can select any portion of a drawing from model space. So you see I have all this stuff in here. So what we could do if we wanted is double click on model or paper space. Now in order to zoom in and out, you always have to click on this and turn it to model. See if I right now it's in paper. And if I try to scroll in and out of it, you know, and, and zoom in on a certain specific piece, it won't let me do it. it. It takes the whole drawing and zooms in and out on it. So what you have to do is select model, takes you into model space. Now I can zoom in and out. So for this drawing, we'll use, uh, let's just use this assembly piece that I put together. Okay, and if you ever want to get rid of these gridded space areas so that you can see the picture more clear just uh, click this down here it says display drawing grid uncheck mark it and it'll it'll bring the picture to a, a more clear state so you can see everything um, I kinda like to do that when I'm laying out my drawings so now what you have to do is we've got a piece of the drawing selected we'll want to set a scale for it and uh, your scale settings, again, are right over here. Just click on this little drop down. It'll open your, up your scales. So you can do uh, scale to fit. Now, scale to fit really didn't work, so we'll just undo that. If you ever want to undo something, just type in the command U. It undoes, it undoes whatever you did. Um, we'll try quarter inch equals a foot. Okay. So a quarter inch equals a foot is the scale for this. Um, I had it highlighted. I was in model space. If you ever want to get out of model space, just double click over here outside the window. And so now we've got ourselves a uh, specific piece of the drawing. And you know, basically you can just go in and, and repeat the process for another portion of a drawing. So let's say I want to scale in on this this piece over here. So we'll go model space, and we'll bring this up to. Uh, well, I don't know. Let's go with. Uh, oh, that's way too big. Six inches equals a foot. So let's scale it down to three inches equals a. Foot. No. Sorry, I'm just playing around with it here, guys. All right. So there's another portion. Um, another thing you can do is just grab hold of these blue grips here. You can move the window in. And another thing I like to do, guys, when I'm plot previewing for these uh, end view ports. So we'll go ahead and move that real quick. Another thing I like to do is I like to create a layer for these. <clears throat> So we'll go to Layer Properties, and just for for this video, I set up one called MView. Um, and what I did is I selected Plot. Okay, I uncheck 
basically if I uncheck it from here, when I go to plot preview, it's going to show up with those little squares that are my windows. And you don't want to, you know, you don't want those in your drawing. Um, so to clear up the drawing and get rid of those, you just check mark that little plot on the on the paper printer. You see how it has a red circle around it? That means my M view or my viewports are not going to come up as visible <clears throat> when I print out my drawing. Now, what I have to do though is set the layer properties to my viewport tab or to my layer on viewport. So now they've changed color, and the reason why is because they're on a different layer now. They're not on the dimension layer, which was initially in red. And just to show you the uh, <clears throat> preview of it real quick, we'll go to plot. Now, you'll notice that none of my stuff is set up in here. Like, I don't have a pen assignment. Uh, I'll explain all this again in a, in a later video. But we'll set that to default real quick. Landscape. We'll go with extents. Center to plot. Let's just preview it real quick. So, you notice how you can't see those windows around my picture? Just to give you an idea of what it looks like if I didn't have my viewports on this in view layer. And let's say I just set them to text. Okay, we'll go plot, continue to plot. I'll set this to default again, extents, center to plot. See, that's what I'm talking about. These uh, viewports will show up in your drawing and you don't want that so it requires a little bit of layer control set them back to in view go plot continue plot and there you have it they're gone again so that's the uh, in view um, I'll go ahead and shoot another video, so stay tuned. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I've got plenty of playlists out there that you know deal with different topics uh, within drafting, from graphic analysis, mechanical drafting. I haven't actually begun with the mechanical stuff yet, um, but I've got stuff on AutoCAD, uh, the whole nine yards. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I'll be shooting more videos on this stuff at a later date. I'm going to release another video here soon and we'll go over the uh, page setup manager and I'll show you some of the modifications you can make to your different layouts so that it, they're preset. So you don't have to go in and change all the stuff that I was changing in the uh, you know in the plot. You know when I hit, hit plot here I go to continue plot. You see how none of this is set? Like I actually had to change it. Um, the page setup manager is going to allow you to preset it so you don't have to make those changes. Okay? And we'll cover that in the next video. So stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, and I'll talk to you guys later. You have a wonderful day. Thank you.